اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لاسٹ ٹائم وی اسٹڈیڈ دیز کوسچنز فرسٹ کوسچن واز ڈز ا ویڈو اور ا ڈائیورسڈ لیڈی نیڈ اینی پرمیشن فرام گارڈینز فار ہر نیکسٹ میریج اکارڈنگ ٹو حدیث 2098 سنن النبی داؤد شی ڈز نوٹ نیڈ اینی پرمیشن she can make this decision of her marriage independently hmm. what shall the parent do before marrying their daughter according to hadith 2098 we must ask her for permission and what can a lady do if her parent arrange her marriage against her will he will go to the to the judge or the one who is like um like islamic um leader then she can she can she will she will be given two option to keep the marriage or to cancel the marriage what's the what's the sunnah worth of mahar according to hadith woman can decide the amount of mahar but the best is equal to 1.375 kg of silver Today we have the book Sunan ibn Majah, Hadith number 1685. Auz billahi ibn shaitan nirajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Read this. It was narrated from Hafsa that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to kiss when he was fasting, sahih. and husband and wife kiss each other while fasting and the husband and the wife He seated there while fasting. According to Hadith 1685 of Sunan Ibn Majah, yes, they can. Yes, they can. Ms. Hoor, repeat the question and answer. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as-salam. Uh, can husband and wife kiss each other while fasting? According to Hadith 1685, Sanan Ibn Majah, yes, they can. <clears throat> So this is a Sahih Hadith, okay? Now there is a okay. Daif Hadith about it, but there is a mistake here. It is actually about intercourse. Intercourse is not allowed, but kissing is allowed. No, so that's why we did not read this Hadith. Now read this Hadith. It was narrated that Ibrahim, uh, that Ibrahim said, Al Aswad and Mas Mas Masruk entered upon Aisha and said, "Did did the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam touch his wife when he was fasting?" She she said he he used to do that and he was the strongest of all of you in controlling his desire. So touching means romance. So only thing that is forbidden is intercourse. Rest of the things are allowed. Husband and wife can do their thing. But if they feel that they cannot control their self, then they better keep a distance. But if they can control themselves, then nothing wrong. So only intercourse is 
not allowed. Rest of the things are allowed for husband and wife while fasting. Miss Ummi Ahmad, next. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said a concession was granted to those who are older with regard to touching while fasting, but it was dis disliked on the part of those who are younger. So it is a dislike thing if you if any husband and wife come very close while fasting, but nothing wrong in it. There is no sin in it. They can do whatever they want, except intercourse. Everything is allowed while fasting. <clears throat> okay, Miss Ho. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever does not give up a will and ign ignorant speech and acting in accor accordance uh, with that, Allah has no need of his giving up his food and drink. Mm -hmm. What do you both understand from this hadith? If someone is doing bad stuff and he's and he's fasting, so there's no need to fast if you do. Um... Yeah, so the main purpose of fasting is to avoid all the evil thing, all the bad things, all the bad acts. If anyone does not stop himself or herself from those bad things, then his fast is useless. So... What question can we write? From now on, I will ask you to think about the question. Previously, I used to tell every question and answer, but from now on, inshallah, I will let you to use your mind as well. So what is the appropriate question here for this address? Can you tell me? What are you supposed to avoid while fasting? What are you supposed to avoid while fasting? Okay. And Ms. Hoor, any question in your mind regarding this and this? What shall we write? Okay, Ms. Ummi Ahmad, repeat your question that you told me. What should a person avoid while fasting? Okay, what shall a person avoid? while fasting and what answer will you say for that question whoever gives up on evil and ignorant speech this answer. one should avoid uh, evil um Stuff and ignorant, ignorant speech while fasting. Or we can say another question, for example. When does fasting become useless? Because this and this, I think, in my opinion, it deals with those or oh, don't fast, or oh, don't give up doing bad things. So, we can write, I think, this one question. When does fasting becomes useless? Mm 
when does fasting become useless it become useless according to hadith 1689 it become useless when one does not give up evil and ignorant speech and does not give up bad deeds. I will repeat the answer according to these 1689. <clears throat> it become useless when one does not give up evil and ignorant speech and does not give up bad deeds. Repeat the question and answer. When does fasting become becomes useless? According to Hadith 1689, it becomes useless when one does not give up evil and ignorant speech and does not give up bad deeds. Next. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there are people who fast and get nothing from their fast except hunger and there are those who pray and get nothing from their pray but a sleepless night. Hmm. So same thing is repeated here or we can just make the changes to the previous question. Which person does not get any benefit from fasting? Which person does not get any benefit from fasting? Which person does not get any benefit from fasting? Same repetition, same answer that we wrote in the previous one, okay? Ms. Hoor? Yes. Next. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when any one of you is fasting, let him not utter evil or ignorant speech. If anyone speaks to him in any ignorant manner, let him say, I am fasting. So this means if you are fasting and if anyone starts saying bad things to you, what will you do? Uh, we should have to say, I am fasting. Yes. So instead of fighting back and saying bad things to him, we just say, I am fasting and then let him go. Okay. Especially in case of your mother-in-law, sister-in-law, they often say bad things. So whenever they say anything, just be patient while you are fasting. No need to fight back. Muhammad. It was narrated from An Anas bin Malik that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, eat suhoor.
for in suhoor there is a blessing. Mm. So we see some people they eat so much in the aftar and after time that they don't have any more room in their belly to eat suhoor. But we need to make some room for suhoor because there is a blessing in it. So we should try to wake up at the hard time and we should try to eat something at least. This is the command of Prophet Sallallahu Miss Hood. It was narrated from Ibn Abbas that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said seek help by eating the Hood for fasting that day and by taking a brief rest at midday midday for praying at night. Hmm. So here we can write. Okay, Ummi Ahmad, recommend me some question or some sentence for this hadith that we write. And who are you also? Say anything, don't worry about mistake. Mm Mention to Spunna for uh, fasting person. So basically, there are many Sunnas, but in this one, we can write question mention to Sunnas which are recommended for a fasting person. First sunnah is eating suhoor and second is kalula. Kalula basically means taking a nap after uh, zuhur. Okay, so you can say a nap after zuhur. They have written brief rest here but it means uh, kalula is basically a short sleep, a nap after Zuhur. Repeat the question and the answer. Mention two sunnah for a fasting person. Mm. Number one, eating Zuhur. And number two, taking a nap after Zuhur. Mm. In the next... It was narrated from Anas bin Malik that Zaid bin Thabit said, we ate suhoor with the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then we got up to perform prayer. I said, how long was there between the two? He said, as long as it takes to recite 50 verses. So what question can we make for this and this? This is showing the duration from when they, the, after they finish Suhoor and the prayer, and then after the 50 verses, then it will be like, you have to finish like eating or something. Is it that, that correct? Mm, we can say, what is the recommended time for Suhoor? Okay. What was the, or what is the Sunnah time? Because here they did not recommend anything. They just tell what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. So what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did, he is the best example for us. So we can say, what is the Sunnah time 
of the book. Sunna time of the book. Miss Hoor is asking what is Suhoor? Sari ko Suhoor kehte hain. Jo subah ap Sari khati na nozo mein. Usko Suhoor kehte hain. So what is the recommended time for Suhoor? So in this hadith we see that the time between Suhoor and the Fajr Salah was only the time needed to recite 50 verses. It is a very short time. So this means the last time of Suhoor is the Sunnah time of Suhoor meal. So in the answer you will write according to Hadith 1694 the last time of Suhoor is the Sunnah time for Suhoor meal. And these days we have clocks, so it is quite easy to see what is the last time. Let's suppose Suhoor time. Or let's uh, Fajr time. Fajr time. What is the name of your city? London. London. So here we see Fajr time is 5.23. This means it starts at 5.23. So this means how much time do you need to eat the Suhoor meal? Uh, 20 minutes before 20. the fajr. So this means the best time for you is 5 a.m. Okay, what is the sunnah time for you? 5 a.m. Mm, 5 a.m. So you will start eating at 5 a.m. And then until 5.20 you will complete your meal. Then you will perform wudu and pray salah. If needed. So we need to delay it as much as possible. Ms. Hoor, read this. It was narrated that Hudefa said, I ate, I ate Zuhur with the Messenger of Allah وسلم, when it was daybreak, but the sun had not yet risen. One of the narrators, Abu Ishaq, said the hadith of uh, Hudefa is obligated and does not mean anything. It's basically the same thing. The most important thing is we need to delay so as much as possible. That is the sunnah time. Otherwise, you can eat before as well. Nothing wrong. Miss Ahmad, next. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Mas'ud that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the adhan of Bilal should not prevent anyone of you from eating suhoor, for he gives the adhan to alert those among you who are asleep, and so that anyone who is praying can prepare himself for fasting. The Fajr does not come in this manner. Rather, it comes in this manner and it appears along the horizon. So at the time of Prophet وسلم, especially in the month of Ramadan, there were two azan. One azan for, was for Suhoor and other azan was for Fajr Salah. So Suhoor azan was basically to wake up the people or to tell the people that to start eating whatever they want. And Fajr Azan was to stop the people from eating. 
So Bilal Azan was the Suhoor Azan. And then the second Fajr Azan was usually given by someone else, I think, in the month of Ramadan only. So there were two Azans at that time. Next, Ms. Hoor. It was narrated from Sahil bin Saad that the Prophet ﷺ said the people will remain upon goodness so long as they hasten to break the fast. So this means we should not delay in breaking the fast at the time. As soon as the sun sets, time, uh, as soon as the sun sets, we should break What is the best time of breaking? What is the best time for breaking the fast? So here we can write the answer. <clears throat> The uh, time right after the sunset is the be best time or is the sunnah time to break the fast. You write the time after the sunset is the best time to break the fast. For example, Maghrib time, sunrise, Zuhur, Asad, Maghrib. <clears throat> Here, Maghi time is mentioned 1628. Let's go sunset. Sunset. The sunset time is 425. I think at 425, sunset is complete. Then this means 426 is the best time for breaking the fast. And in case you are not sure, then you can delay it one more minute for 28 minutes. Yeah. So repeat the question and the answer. What's the best time for breaking the fast? The best time for breaking the fast is the time after the sunset. Uh, you told me about uh, how many daughters you have? I have one daughter and one son. One son. What year? And you told me she was around, I think, thirteen years old age. Am I right? Yes. Do you teach any? Do you teach her Islam or any other Islamic thing? Yes, I do. So, what do you teach her? Like in, in Ramadan, fasting. Okay. Because she goes to Madrasa. Yeah. Okay. The she soon goes. She goes to Islamic school and yeah. any idea of what books, what Islamic books she is studying there? Uh, the Islamic books, they do like the one which you teach us, like Ibn Majah, the Hadith. Okay. So basically she is studying Hadith books there, am I right? Yeah. Okay. Good. In case if she does not have any opportunity, then I recommend you to teach her these things yourself. So I can send you the books and you can just teach her these questions and answer yourself. It will be better for both of you. When you will teach someone, it will improve yourself as well. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Yeah, cool.
and if she is studying there already then i recommend you to find someone else for yourself maybe some other lady there are many new muslims in london as well so you can meet or find a new muslim lady arrange some time with her according to your availability and her availability and teach her these things inshallah Next. It was narrated from Abu, Abu Huraira that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the people will remain upon goodness so long as they hasten to break the fast. Has tend to break the fast for the Jews delay it. So as soon as the sun sets completely, we just need to break the fast. No need to delay. Miss <laughs> Salma bin Amir narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, When any one of you breaks his fast, let him break it with dates. If he cannot find dates, then let him break it with water, for it is a means of purification. Can anyone tell you the question for this hadith? खजूर से रोजा तोड़ना चाहिए अगर खजूर ना हो तो यस पानी से हो सकती है कि किस चीज से रोजा तोड़ना सुन्नत है तो जवाब में आप लिख सकती हैं पहली चीज खजूर और अगर खजूर ना मिले तो पानी उम्मी अहमद कैन यू रिकमेंड मी अ क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस हदीस व्हाट डू यू ब्रेक योर फास्ट Hmm. Or one is as already written here. What is recommended to break one fast with? Okay. What is your question? Repeat your question again. I can't hear you. What question you told me? What do you eat after breaking the fast? What do you eat? Or instead of what do you, you can make it what is recommended. What is recommended to break fast with? You can write it is recommended to create an art What is recommended to break fast with? So I will answer you with right. According to Hadith 1699, dates. And if dates are not available, then water. So we should break the fast with dates. And if dates are not available, then we should break it with the water. We will stop here. And inshallah, we'll continue next time. Any questions?